PC Wiz Kid here with the Toshiba OCZ RD400. That's an NVMe M.2 form factor SSD, 256 gigs that I put here in my Ryzen 7 PC. Here are all the parts. Also from OCZ, we have the VX500, 512 gigabyte SSD. Obviously, this one here using the NVMe host controller, new standard, much faster. Using the PCI bus, it's bypassing a lot. And also, there's higher latency on this one, faster drive. Uh, it doesn't use commands in the same way as standard SSD or SATA drives. So there's uh, a lot of a lot of uh, better communication between the storage drive itself and the CPU. And also, using the PCI bus lanes, we're going to get a greater bandwidth. There's less bottleneck uh, because of the technology and the host controller. So we're really going to be seeing some terrific results here from the PCI Express Generation 3 at 4x. Okay, that's what I have it installed in the M.2 slot on my motherboard. If you don't have an M.2 slot, well, you can use a PCI Express card and, and attach it in there. Now, I have the 256 gigabyte model, you, so you can see there what it rates at um, 2.6 gigs there per second and 1.15 gigs per second on the right. So I should be getting those types of results, it's saying, in my machine and uh, I'm using Windows 10, obviously. Uh, the uh, UEFI uh, BIOS is enabled. I have everything uh, up to date when it comes to the firmware and the drivers. So. Uh, there's no issues there as well and I tried to do my best to ensure that there's no conflicts with the other drives the other SATA drives that I have and the uh, PCI Express graphics card that I have in there as well so depends on the motherboard that you have you have to make sure you check all these things to make sure that the that um, uh, there's no conflicts between uh, anything okay so be warned about that now um, when it comes to NVMe technology that stands obviously for non-volatile memory express okay that's the uh, the host controller uh, standard I guess specification as opposed to the AHCI SATA um, specification right so that's an older technology that we're very familiar with uh, the um, new one obviously reduces latency so we're gonna get faster response times uh, the paths to the um, uh, CPU for exchange of information, the input-output path is going to be much uh, faster because there's less commands, uh, there's greater bandwidth with the PCI bus and express lanes, so obviously we're going to be using that to the fullest. It's almost like getting server um, uh, storage speeds if you really uh, are thinking about how to compare that. And um, anyways, the, the OCZ uh, VX500 is still very nice. Uh, it's still a decent uh, SSD drive, but I have it in there for comparison so you can see both speeds. Here again are both technologies, both host controllers, so you can see what I'm talking about with the commands and how it supports things differently, especially now that we have a lot of um, multi-core, multi-threaded processing going on. Uh, the NVMe takes greater um, advantage of that. Now, in my BIOS, this is how I have it set up in case you're wondering how I installed it and uh, how things are set up, the boot devices, the UEFI BIOS um, and uh, hard drives have been set up properly. Drivers are up to date. Firmware is up to date. I've got the latest BIOS, of, of course, because that's crucial. Check your motherboard uh, uh, you know, before you buy it to make sure that it supports everything. And um, boot times, well, that varies, of course, between your system. I mean, from the Windows logo itself to the desktop with everything loaded, about five to eight seconds, terrific. I mean, from a cold boot all the way up, that varies depending on your BIOS and what you have loading in there. Um, using the OCZ SSD utility, you can see here, um, everything is good to go, all green. You can see uh, also, if I click on the maintenance tab at the top, that's where I'm going to be able to run some benchmarks actually within this SSD utility. You can actually run some benchmarks to see the sequential read and writes that it was talking about earlier that I should be getting. So I went ahead and clicked on that. And as you can see here, um, also, by the way, there's the VX500 is also installed in this machine. So I can run benchmarks on one and then flip back and then run benchmarks on the other and then compare both. Okay, and again, um, I have the latest firmware, latest drivers on everything. The results are pretty impressive. 
2.74, as you can see there, GB per second on the sequential read, 1.06 on the right. Okay, so pretty pretty darn uh, right on the money on what it advertised. Terrific results compared to a regular SSD drive, you know, up to 4.5 times faster, really, if you look at the, what I'm getting on the VX500 on the read and the right. You can't go wrong. This is definitely one of the fastest uh, NVMe drives out there. Uh, the Toshiba OCZ RD500, uh, sorry, 400, is amazingly fast. Check out these results from Addo and Crystal Discmark. Look at look at those speeds. I'm talking about 2.684. Uh, it went all the way up to that on Addo and on Crystal Discmark 2.58. Um, as you can see there, gig per second or 2,582 megabytes per second on the uh, on the read. 1.1 uh, gigabyte uh, per second on the right. And here's the standard SSG uh, drive, the VX500 versus the RD400. And uh, again, these are very consistent um, results from the VX500. So very, very nice, whether you want one or the other. But I got to say, right now on Newegg.com, the uh, NVMe OCZ RD400 is on sale for 20% off. I'll add the link below so you can see that. So that, that just went on, and it's making this a very attractive alternative to an SSD drive. So I know that it's only 256 gigabytes of space as opposed to 512, but because of the speeds, I mean, you might as well get this as your main drive, right? So that your boot times and, and Windows is, is like lightning fast. And, uh, and then have uh, an SSD or a standard drive, you know, as a secondary or, or, or whatever. I mean, it's really getting to the point that as a pro consumer drive, this is really uh, a great thing to have. And it's small, compact. It just fits right there on your, underneath your, your graphics card, in my case, in the M.2 slot. Here are the results that I got from uh, Passmark on the disk rating. You can see here up in orange, my results running this RD400 were much higher than the default score that someone else uh, posted for that same drive. So in my machine, it posted much faster. It could be the firmware updates that I did. It could be that my machine is just playing better and faster. Uh, what can I say? But uh, you can pause the screen and take a look at those and uh, compare. The warranty is very good also. Up to five years warranty on that one. Definitely uh, recommend the RD400 and the VX500, terrific SSD drives from Toshiba OCZ. Comment below, let me know what you think, and again, thank you for watching.